on the financial statements section, you're going to be able to look at the annual data as well as the quarterly data. The way to do that is simply to use the buttons at the top to select whichever one you want to look at. So you can either press annual to show the annual data or the quarterly financial data like that. On the quarterly side, you're going to get 16 consecutive quarters. And then on the last col column, you have the trailing 12 months, just to give you an idea of how it's doing. Another new feature that's been added is hiding the changes from the previous year, as well as being able to show it. So at the moment, the default is being shown. If you want to hide it because you don't want to, you want to clean a format, you already have a sense of how it's doing year over year or quarterly over quarterly, then you'll just you can just press that and it will show you a much cleaner interface. The reason why you would show it is if you're looking at a company, say like I am at the moment, Nike or another retailer where there's actual seasonal changes, it's important to compare between comparable quarters instead of just the sequential Q4 to Q1 to Q2, etc. You want to be able to see how it's doing from the prior quarter. So in this case, it's comparing from the number here is dependent on this quarter. So it's a 7.3% increase based on the previous third quarter and so on with these numbers as well. Now getting back to the financial data, this is all standardized. And what I mean by that is that uh, it's not going to be the as reported line by line exact copy from what the company uh, files with the SEC. Now the reason for that is because there's all these public companies and they have to be in a certain format for the spreadsheet as well as other websites like Google Finance and Yahoo Finance for them to be able to um, you know, present their data so that it's in a consistent format. Now there's a downside and a plus side but if there's any additional data that you want to look at it's all you can do is I've already hit unhidden it, but what you could do, let me just unhide that for I mean hide that first. What you can do is right click any of the um, tabs below, then click on unhide, and then select statements data. And this sheet is going to show you all the raw fundamental data, as well as additional line items that I have not included into the statements section. Now the reason for that is because some data is either uh, something that I don't feel is necessary or it's not, uh, majority of the times it's either zero or insignificant to the whole valuation so that's why I've left it out. But if you want to take a look always feel free to unhide it and go in and fiddle around with it yourself. So that's it for the statements.